Hey guys, so long time no talk. I feel like I just said that. Y'all seen three videos from me since I last filmed. That was like a month and a half ago. So I feel kind of rusty, kind of feel weird sitting in front of a camera because I feel like I haven't done this in forever. And then I missed last week. I uploaded for three weeks in a row and I wasn't even home all three weeks of that. And then I just got this yesterday. So yeah, today I'm gonna be doing a mask first impression on the Freeman Deep Clearing Seaweed and Sea Salt Mud Mask and Scrub. What this kind of reminds me of is, y'all know I love the apple cider vinegar one. I went through a whole tube and I'm probably halfway done through my tube. I haven't put any out on my hand or anything. I wish that they had like a little packet one so I didn't have to buy this whole thing if I didn't like it. You gotta do what you gotta do to get a mask first impression out. I haven't watched any like actual first impressions. I just read the reviews online. This says dive into the sea of freshness, the dual action mud mask and scrub removes impurities and exfoliates to reveal a radiant smooth complexion. Sea salt helps draw out toxins, cleanses, and balances the skin. Nourishing seaweed extract provides hydration for soft, clear skin to use as a mask. Apply to face and neck, avoiding contact with eyes. Leave on for three to five minutes, no more than 10. Rinse with warm water, discontinue use of irritation occurs. I read on some reviews that it got really itchy, so I guess that's why they say leave it on for 10 at the most. I washed my face with a CeraVe hydrating cleanser. I should probably look at my skin to see what impurities there are, but I mean, it's really always the same texture around my nose here, pretty much everywhere. Oh, do y'all like my freckles, by the way? You probably can't see them because of these lights, but I have so many freckles because of summertime. I love a summertime because freckles are my favorite thing ever. I always have blackheads on my chin. I always have blackheads that are impossible to get out on the side of my nose. Oh, this is thick. I haven't tried like a new mask in so long. Literally feels like super scrubby. And it's such a cool color. Am I a ninja turtle? Oh. When I use exfoliating mask, I go ahead and like scrub it into my skin whenever I'm putting on the mask. Then I scrub it while I'm putting it on and then also while I'm taking it off. I don't really know what this smells like. I can't really, I don't know. It's not like an overpowering scent and it's also not like a unique scent either. So I should probably look at the time. I don't even have my phone in here. Lately, my jawline has actually had kind of a lot of texture. So I'm also gonna put this on my jawline. I'm probably gonna leave this on for 10 minutes or at least until it's dry, even though they say no longer than 10 minutes, but I'm kind of a rebel. So it's 10.20 right now, so I'm just gonna say 10.18. I like just chatting while my mask dries. Freeman is the only mask brand I really ever try on my channel. I've done like a L'Oreal mask. That was like my first mask, first impression. I literally never use it anymore. And then I did obviously the Drunk Elephant one, but that was a sample. And I think all the other ones have been Freeman just because Freeman is an affordable brand and they're cruelty free. I don't think that their line is like healthy products, but like it's also probably not as bad as some, I don't know. I literally haven't put makeup on in probably like two months now. I really haven't been inspired and I just feel like my focus is on different things right now. My priorities have been elsewhere. Like this week has been my first like free week this summer and I've been waking up early every day trying to get stuff done. I've been doing Duolingo every day like an hour every day. I've been reading my Bible every morning. For my goals for 2019 I wanted to read through the Bible and I haven't been doing very good just because the Old Testament is super hard to get through. I love the Bible app because they literally have everything on it. Where you go to read you can hit this play down here and it reads to you. I've literally gotten through probably four books in like five days just because it reads to me. I read so much better when I'm listening so like I listen to it but I also read it. Like if I'm just listening to it I won't like absorb it as much as if I'm listening to it and reading it at the same time. I have my Bible out and then I have that in my ears. I have it as the same version so that I just follow along with it. That just for me personally works so much better. I'm not a good reader and I'll get distracted. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yada yada yada. Okay, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I didn't even put thick layers on here. Like, this is pieces. I can feel my face like tightening and kind of itchy, but like, I do so many face masks that I'm so used to that, so it doesn't really bother me. <laughs> so, it's been another five minutes. It's still not completely dry, but I think I'm just gonna wash it off. All the salt is like coming to the surface. I don't know if you can see that. My it's getting pretty crinkly. I guess I'll go wash it off. I'm gonna wash it off with warm water and then I always use my AOA Studio scrubby facial thing just because that helps get off the mask a lot easier. So I mean my face is red but honestly not as red as I was expecting. My face literally feels so soft. My texture is not like completely gone but it's a lot more gone on this side. Like there's really not too much texture there. You just have to look for it. This side I still feel it but like 
it's also more red there which is kind of weird here's my skin up close i don't know if y'all can uh tell a difference like from the beginning wow i'm so freckled i love it the black is on my nose aren't gone they aren't gone on my chin either exfoliation never does that for me no mask ever does that for me i have to just like, jab at my face for that to happen so that's not really a surprise what i normally do with super intense masks like this i follow up with an ice cube just to really close my pores and to calm my skin down too i really didn't expect how intense the exfoliation was i definitely would not recommend this if you have sensitive skin at all because it will probably tear your skin to shreds the scrub was a lot more intense than it was whenever i just like was putting the face mask on i should have expected that like because it was dried it's basically like the apple cider vinegar one but on crack you know how in the office she says like crack and he's like i love when people say like crack they've never even done crack so what would yours be like scrap looking <laughs> anyone know what i'm talking about well, that's awkward the sea salt in this is super intense i'll have to try this as just like a regular exfoliator i bet it will be kind of like the same feel as my apple cider vinegar one if you want me to do like a side by side comparison of them just let me know because i feel like that's literally what i think of except this is like on another level but are they really that different we can compare claims and ingredients and all that. Oh, I normally like read back at the claims and see. It removes impurities. I mean, I guess because it literally took probably the first layer of my skin off. Exfoliates to reveal a radiant smooth complexion. Yes, I mean, my second layer of skin is smooth. I wouldn't say radiant because like this is after moisturizer and I'm barely glowing. So, nourishing seaweed extract. Okay, it definitely like the seaweed does not provide hydration. I feel like that's a little weird because this is real drying i definitely would not recommend doing this twice a week like i would any other mask this would probably be like a once a week once every two weeks type of thing probably once a week as an exfoliator Ooh, now i know what raw beauty christy needs to do she needs to do like do face masks actually work she could literally do like a before and after of her face like under a microscope after a mask to see if face masks actually work <gasps> i need to tell her okay I want to go. I really hope y'all enjoyed this video and figured out whether you want to get this or not since you can't get this in a little thing that's kind of rude. If you use exfoliators and you use intense exfoliator mask or you've had the apple cider vinegar one and you love that and you want something on a more intense level then i would go for this or if you just like a real real exfoliating oh that's what i was gonna say this kind of reminded me of cup of coffee from lush i also haven't used that in like three years that's what apple cider vinegar reminded me of too i just feel like i got a flashback of that when i used this i don't know i really don't know what to say but i would give it to go if you do not have sensitive skin if you have sensitive skin i would not try this because i feel like it would literally irritate your skin so much because it is so exfoliating if you just want a really good scrub for your body like this is super scrubby i mean i'll have to try it like obviously as a scrub i just tried it as a face mask so we shall see i really hope you all enjoyed this video if you did i would love it if you subscribe down below and please give this video a big thumbs up <laughs> it means so much to me it's like an announcer voice let me know down below if you do want me to see the, this compared to the apple cider vinegar one since i literally just said that one more than i talked about this one thank you so much for watching bye